So today I have my friend John Miller with me from America Machine. Thank you for having me. Oh, thanks for being here, John. John has his own YouTube channel. He uh, vlogs about current affairs, current events, um, political, uh, social commentary. Uh, also, you do build videos, is that correct? I haven't got any of the build video out yet, but it's going to be very, very soon. I have all the footage I need for the first build video. Oh, fantastic. I can't wait to see it. Well, if you want to see John Miller, and you should, because you're watching me, you should watch him too, check the links down below and go to America Machine featuring John Miller. So, uh, John, I did notice that um, you're sporting the facial fuzz. What's up um, with that? Yeah, I don't normally, but you know, it's it's Halloween. It's the Halloween season and everything, and I figured that the uh, best way to uh, prevent myself from ever having to actually grow up I need to dress up like a ridiculous person at least once a year, and Halloween is the best excuse. Uh, that is a really good excuse. Uh, do you happen to have your costume with you? I'd love to see it. I did actually bring it. Well, let's see yeah. it. All right, well. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is Batman Well. You are Batman Well. That's a great costume. Well, Batman Well, would you be willing to help me fool the audience financially? I don't know if I'm comfortable with this, but... Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's only a magic trick. It's very easy, you see. First, um, if we're going to fool someone financially, we need a bank. Uh, this hat will act as our bank. Go ahead and check it out and make sure that it is exactly as I have represented it. Anything in the hat? No. No, of course not. The bank is a little bit short of funds. Fortunately, I have funds for the bank. I have 15 solid gold half dollars that have been nickel plated and we shall stock the bank with those coins. Now 15 solid gold, you are familiar with solid gold half dollars that have been nickel plated, are you not? Batman well looks a little skeptical, he doesn't trust the investor, so tell you what, before we go any further, I want to make sure I have your full faith and trust. Go ahead and count the coins one at a time out loud onto the plate and tell me how many we have. We've got my faith. We'll see about the trust. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. How many? Fifteen. Exactly fifteen solid gold half dollars that have been nickel plated. Which again we shall stock the bank with. What? Now, the bank. We are stocking the bank with the fifteen half dollars. Now, if I were to be an investor, I would walk up to the bank and say, Pardon me, sirs, I need to borrow some of your money to invest. So would you please loan me a single half dollar? Not much to ask. Fifteen minus one is? Fourteen. Fourteen, fantastic. But you know, for my investment, one is not enough. I shall require a second. So please hand me one more half dollar from the bank. Perfect. 15 minus 2 is? Well, 13. 13. Fantastic. Now, of course, like any good investment, you can't necessarily see exactly what is going on under cover. So go ahead and hold on to the investment for me. This is when it gets weird. Because, you see, the bank had 15. They loaned me 2 and left me with 13. And my investment is hiding, safe and snug, in the hands of... Batman well. But as you know, easy come, easy go. As they say in the business, there is only one winner in this game, and of course, that is the bank. Batman well, would you please, one more time, count the coins out loud onto the plate for me. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six. How many? Fifteen. And we took away how many? Well, two. And we should have? Fifteen. Thirteen. And yet, somehow, what is math does forget? not suit Batman well. That's okay. That's okay. Fifteen coins. Now, you may be saying to yourself, you know, when we performed this transaction, there wasn't a lot of transparency. So let's start one more time. Let us refill the bank. 15 solid gold half dollars that have been nickel plated. 
Why would you nickel plate gold? Why wouldn't you? It does look cool. Yes, it does. So, <laughs> for this final investment, I will need one half dollar, please. Worked out last time. That's true. One half dollar. Fifteen minus one is? Or fourteen. Fourteen. But again, as before, one is never enough. Please hand me another half dollar. There's always more. Fifteen minus two is? Thirteen. Thirteen. Watch. More transparency in our investment. Now, regardless of the transparency, the investment may never be safe. There's one. Two goes just as fast. Don't blink. You might miss it as well. That is two. I'm going to stop investing with you. It's probably a good idea. Unless, of course, you are the bank. Now, he had 15. We took away two. two. We should have 13. Count the coins, please, one more time. Fifteen coins, yes indeed. And of course the moral of this lesson is don't mess with the bank. I can agree with that moral. Well, I'd like to thank my friend Batman Well, aka John Miller. Be sure you check out America Machine. Check the link down below. I hope you like the trick. We got one more to finish this chapter. It'll be coming out soon. Keep your eyes out. See you soon. Bye-bye. I'll be watching.